Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Lemmy's to the Tribes, and today we are at a zip code, it looks like, 22934. What could possibly be the meaning of that? That is really weird, but we don't have anything in our task complement that we haven't seen before. Oh, we've got classic builders, look at that, builder and basher showing up to provide some classic support for, uh, for other tasks that we seem to only have a limited supply of, so let's... Let's see what, what residence resides at 22934. Whose address is that? Hopefully it is the address of the tent that we will be making our way to. I don't know what that name could possibly mean. There's a snail up there. All kinds of big, creepy crawlies trying to intimidate us here. So what have we got? Okay, so we got a runner and a jumper. Let's see. How are we gonna how are we gonna how are we gonna navigate this this wild world of ours? So we could, let's see, bashing in a spot would not really do us much good. Let's look around. What's the path look like here? Looks like we want to get one lemming going ahead, but... Okay, yeah, so this is going to be a builder, a kind of a builder fest here. Thinking maybe we want to bash right here, but we also have a club basher. So we effectively have two bashers. That's something to remember. All right, so maybe we want to build up into here. All right, and maybe maybe we want to get going up into here. Go from here to here. So how do I keep my lemmings trapped? That's a that's a that's a good idea right now, keeping them trapped. Um that is also a thing I need to think about maybe solving. Okay, so they go here, they go up in here, and then they go down here eventually. So we need to kind of keep them reined in for the most part. Um, that's going to be hard to do, I think. Let's try, let's try parachuting. Okay, this guy can parachute, but I don't know how to keep them held back. That's my only problem here. Okay, and I don't, I think... I've been told I underestimate fall height, but that looks like a dangerous fall. Yeah, you could feel that in the amount of time it took. That was just a that was just a big yikes. Okay, so what have we got? I think the main puzzle here is going to be figuring out how to hold my lemmings back effectively because I don't have an attractor this time. So, and I do think kind of going up into here Maybe even sneaking up into this little cranny would be an effective strategy. If I have the... I have ten builders. Surely it can't take that many to get around here. Though, I don't want to be taken a long way around or anything. Yeah, I think my main concern is figuring out how to... Okay, my main concern is figuring out how to keep them in a place that's safe. This one is kind of safe. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and try club bashing here. Okay, that is a scary little prospect. But I do have a runner. Maybe a runner would be a little more effective. Huh. Let's go ahead. No, let's get somebody running first. Maybe that will give them the head start. All right, go ahead and run. Run, 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 run. I'm banking on you kind of doing that, yes. So, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. That was a little bit too... Well, will you... Yeah, you'll stun yourself, but I kind of wanted him to build to keep them trapped in. I think that might be the way here. All right. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. Stun and... Start building. Okay, that's... No, that's going to take too much time. Even the runner doesn't get enough of a head start for that. Man, I... The containment, to me... To me, containment is much tougher than... Containment is going to be much tougher than actually getting to the exit, I think. Alright, we've got jumpers as well. So let's try getting him ahead with one of those. Oh yeah, that's a big leap. Okay, so now... Now we want to build right here, I'm guessing. To get them all down into a spot. 
Okay, that got him pretty far ahead, and I think they can all survive that drop. So what I'm going to do then is wait for him to finish. Okay, so he's going to run. He can catch up easily. All right, there we go. Let's... All right, yeah, let's wait for him to get... Woo! There we go. No, not into the pit. That's more like it. Okay, so that was really quick. We got that done very quickly. No Wimmings fell in the pit. The runner can just kind of run around for a minute if he wants, I think. It's not important that the runner is the builder here, but I only have seven builders left, so I want to use my roper to at least cut down some of this distance. Well, okay, yeah, that is your prerogative, I guess. I think it would probably be easier to have the runner do everything, but... Yeah, it would be easier to have the runner to do everything, because the runner can make little... Okay, yeah. So we want a rope, I think, to save on builders. Okay, so now we can have somebody, I think, club bash through this rope. Now I just have to be now I just have to be really fast with the builder. Alright, so go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Builder Man. Do your thing. Okay, I gotta be really tight on this though with the timing. This is gonna be This is gonna be rough, I do think. So we wanna assign tasks basically as as soon as the runner finishes. Just to make sure we've got all our ducks in a row. Okay, so four. I think it'll take two to get up here and two to get up here. Which leaves one here. That's a problem. Okay, let's see what happens here. Alright, so we go there and we go to there. Okay, so up to there. So, yeah, we kind of... We may be able to make it over here with one builder, but that would really present a problem later. I hope it doesn't, because I'm kind of running out of building tasks, and I'm not seeing a route that would be much more amenable to this. So once it comes back from here, I've got one builder to get to this plant right here, I think. Hope this works. I'm kind of... I'm kind of... I'm kind of going on a prayer here, so... Okay, reach out, little man. Reach out to the community. Let's see. Hope that touches. No! That's not gonna touch! Oh! Oh, gosh. Is there any way... Maybe I could save a builder down here by roping up to a spot where the rope doesn't just, you know, fly away. Ugh! So close. Because what I would do here... There we go. Well, he's kind of in a loop now. I think what I would do is build to finish off this rope, right? That seems to be the idea. Okay, I think... Well, he can jump to there, but his comrades could not. That would be... A, yeah, the, the builder could... The builder could seal off the rope if need be. Definitely. So I think I'm in the right place, but I think I need to be a little... A little more efficient with my roping, maybe, is the only problem. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my archers to give my rope a little more support right here. I'm going to... Oh, I didn't mean to make the runner the the guy, but here we go. Alright, so we can do that. We can probably make a few more to give the rope... Make sure... Oh, you can shoot an arrow onto an arrow. That's kind of what I was hoping for there. So we can kind of shoot arrows onto arrows to ensure... Okay, I need to kind of keep track of my... I need to kind of keep track of my uh, runner in the crowd. Alright, so I need to... Okay, the runner is down about bottom. So what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot my rope to here. There we go, that makes a bridge. I need to make sure the runner gets ahead of them. Wow, I did not give myself a lot of room there. But I think all I need to do is just bash like right here. And I need to make sure the runner does the work. I think that may be a little too shallow, but oh hey, yeah, but the runner has good the runner has good the runner has good air. So if I can get the runner kind of isolated here, I can jump back here. Okay. Runner in isolation, I think. There we go, yes. Okay, so now this should look a little better, and I should be able to seal that off. And I've got way more builders to handle this task now. All right, this builder should be touching the wall soon. I think I built from a good angle. I hope I did anyway. Okay, yeah, that should be enough to... 
secure the bash. And I think I can seal this off then. Let's let's get somebody who's like right on the cusp there. No! I built into the rope and he turned around! <laughs> the precision, the precision! Okay, I think I finally secured a good enough angle so that this won't interfere too much. So that I can actually get up on top of the rope thing. Yeah, that's much more amenable to a builder type angle. So I think, I think we've finally done it. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't a hard level. It's just, you know, Uncle Roundy's getting old and this field of play is pretty tiny and it's, it's hard for me to squint. I'm going to need, I'm going to need, I'm going to be the first person doing videos on YouTube to need playing video games and to need bifocals before too long. There we go, everybody's getting in. I'm pretty confident that's a 100% save. So all it's gonna take is saving 100% on the next level to ensure us that, that shiny, shiny chunk of gold medallion for the outdoor tribe. There we go, another, that is our 19th successful gold standard rescue attempt at this point. We're doing great, we're doing great. We've only got one more level and we're gonna finish off that outdoor tribe here and now with what level garden of stone uh let's see anything new on the list no no new tasks so nothing to acclimate myself with i think i've i think i've run into just about every task you could imagine at this point there may be a few stragglers yet left but let's see and i know i know there are more gadgets i need to use so this one is going to have a very specific solution because i'm receiving very little in the way of tools four and a half minutes to work my way out of the secret garden let's see how it goes let's see how it goes this should be a fun one I, i'm i'm anticipating a good puzzle here for some reason okay so we've got okay we've got working our way down face is passed and we're homebound and down to here is where we need to get okay so we're gonna need a kayaker right in here what is even going on in this level so okay so we've got a I see the need for maybe a hopper, and the hopper is going to go down and uh, platform everybody to safety, maybe. So okay, all right. I think I'm seeing. I think I'm seeing a trend here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run it out. That's a hopper. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's get running. Or that's a jumper, rather. That's a one-time use kind of deal. All right, so. So let's see if running accelerates the hopping. No, he still runs at the same speed. Oh, oh man. Oh, a splat off the bump. That's no good. Okay, so the runner can still, okay. The runner still hops at a, at a, let's see. Yeah, the runner still hops at a, at a, at a, at a, what am I trying to say? Constant rate of speed. There we go. All right, he's hopping and bopping. What's going to go on here? I feel like there's a tiny pixel width hole here. And that is a problem for me. I don't like that very much. I'm not very happy with that. Yep, they're going to squeeze right through there. That's okay. Maybe this is going to be worse than I thought. I think I see I think I see them falling into water here as well. So we've got some very we got some very tight. Okay, maybe maybe we need to hold people in with a. Okay, I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna have to walk this down to to the river, perhaps. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get a stomper going. How many lemmings get past the stompers hole? Okay, nobody gets out of the stomper hole. So you. You start running. I'll catch up with you shortly. All right, we're going to have to dig. I'm thinking there aren't too many places to dig around here. So I'm thinking so I'm thinking this may be the spot right here. All right. And you're going to you're going to hop like I like I thought maybe you should. There we go. Hoppity hoppity, hippin' and hoppin' and bippin' and boppin'. Okay. All right, you don't have Okay, runner. Runner, you need to run your little you need to run your little butt off there, buddy. Okay, so we got two platformers. No! He made the leap! That's not what I wanted at all! Okay, so they're gonna go through into here. Let's see, let's see what a bomber does right here. 
It, it doesn't really do anything to stop them. Which is unfortunate. That's kind of what I wanted there. Yeah, okay, they're all eeping off into the pit here. I think what I want to do is get them going here. I thought maybe I was going to platform to right here to get them out here. But then how would they get out by bombing? That would be where the bomb goes, of course. Okay, so... Hmm, okay, we may be, we may be having people meeting synchronously in several... Okay, yeah. So this is going to be where we stomp because that's the only thing that can get through something of that width okay so you're going to all right you're gonna hop up the ledge all right so hopping and hopping and hopping okay we may want to prevent stunning somehow i think maybe one thing we want to do is get a jump go no well, let's just try platforming for now. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a stun no matter what. Okay, so now we have to get... Yeah, somebody's going to have to be a lot faster. How's that going to be done? Maybe we can get... Maybe we can get some walking happening over this way. That might be... If we could turn them around somehow, this might be a better path for them to walk. Because it would distract them for a good long time. Unless, unless that's a pixel perfect drop right there. But I think these are, they look connected by maybe the itty bittiest pixel. It would give them some good walking space though. Alright, so. Alright, let's let's try maybe I feel like maybe I should try to turn the lemmings around somehow. Because I would only need one platformer. Okay. Well I need a platformer to get over here. Let's see something real quick. Let's see let's see what a runner does in this situation. Maybe the runner should go to the left. Let's see what happens when the runner the runner should hit the wall and keep yeah, okay. Alright, but... Huh. But that still doesn't do a lot for this situation. Huh. Okay, but I get... I only get one runner. That's the problem. So maybe the hopper... Maybe the hop... Maybe a hopper needs to come over this way. Alright, the runner... Okay, let's try this. Okay, no, I need I need a jumper to get over that. Okay, I'm gonna have someone go I'm gonna have someone going both ways. Okay, first of all, runner. Second of all, you're gonna hop, so you need to Alright, we're gonna we're gonna delay this as much as we can. No, we're gonna do this okay, yeah, from about here. We need a jumper to get over this pit there you go all right and this guy is gonna hop now we're gonna be working both sides it looks like that's gonna be that's a scary prospect but i think it can be done all right so you go down there oh yeah yeah you're gonna be really trucking okay so that guy is going now um okay i don't think anybody will need to go kayaking that's this may be a tough run even for this guy. So let's see. What is the what is the hopper accomplished then? Mm, I'm not seeing it actually. Well, I am seeing a bit of a Okay, let's use this to well, okay, one guy. I was gonna try to slow everybody down, but one guy got ahead anyway. What I wanna try to do. This may still be too high a fall to accomplish this. I wish the runner did other tasks very quickly as well. Okay, so this guy is coming. This guy isn't serving a whole lot of purpose now that I look at it. But I want to see... Yeah, one person died. Yeah, okay, that's a splat height. So we don't want that. So maybe we don't want to... Maybe don't we don't want to cover... The, well, we need someone covering this ground. Regardless... Maybe this guy, maybe the hopper is supposed to jump, kayak. 
Okay, I feel like... Maybe I'm doing things in the wrong order here. Okay, we're gonna get the runner going to the right. Okay, there we go. The runner goes to the right. So... He is then gonna hop... Up here. Okay, so if I... If I take a stomper... No, I feel like the I feel like the hopper the runner would have to go to the right to catch up to them as quickly as he needs to. Because if I do this Okay. You you stomp then and you're going to you're going to jump over. No, not the stomper. Wow, this thinking out loud business is uh this is, uh, this is rough. Okay, but I think I do need the runner to go to the left. That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now. But maybe I'd have to really look at it. So, okay. And this, this guy needs to jump over. There we go. Alright, that's kind of what I want for now. Okay, so. But then when I jump over this, that leaves no jumpers for over here when I need to blop over to here. So what I, okay, what I need to do then, okay, one guy just needs to walk onward, I think is the case. I think I just miscalculated what I would need real quick. I'm going to let him get much farther ahead before I start stomping. So, stomper, okay, and then this guy is going to hop. Okay, Hopper should get stunned, but then do some pretty good walking. Did I lose track of my runner? I sure did. Oh my gosh. Lots to keep track of here. Okay. So, runner. And then, let's go ahead and... Let's stomp here so they have more time to walk, but... Okay, yeah. He's going to need to jump before he starts hopping. Okay. Just barely, though. Alright, so there we go. He's going to get stunned. I think this may be... Maybe he needs to be a runner after he hops? Okay, maybe I... I feel like going to the left is a good idea, but... Okay, so he drops there. What can slow them down? All right, I think I finally got this pretty well in hand. We're going to let one go. We are going to work both sides. We're going to take the Stomper here. And the Stomper is also going to be a runner. Because we're going to have the Stomper plug his hole by jumping out of it. And we want that hole to be pretty deep. So what's going to happen is we're going to wait till he's near the bottom of his little stomp time here. And being a runner gives him the height to jump out of that hole to the left. So now we've got our two folks going. So now, we just set up the we set up the path to the end, as usual, is what I'm thinking is going to happen here. So we've got this going. Now, okay, this guy's running this way. They're going to meet at more or less the same time. We're going to have to be pretty on the money about this. See who's coming first and getting it done. I think I'm going to take the platformer first. All right, and then, uh, oh yeah, he's right at the edge there. And then, jumper, yeah. Jumper jumps over here. And all right, we're gonna kayak to here. And then that sets up the path to the exit once we start platforming from here. All right, there we go. So now, we just have to wait for everybody to get out for the reason that if we set off a bomb now, the blast radius may launch lemmings in other directions. But if I wait for everybody to get in first, everybody is going to launch straight up. Or should, anyway. Uh, because I've been, I've been kind of running this, and I think I've got it now. Okay, so now we just need a bomber. There we go. Yeah, everybody pops straight up, and then they can just walk. It's going to be a bit of a long walk to the exit. Good, this is not plugged. I was actually sort of afraid of that, too. But now, it shouldn't take 2 minutes and 43 seconds to walk to the, to walk to the exit. So, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little impatient. I want to see myself get that medal now. 
Yes, they're stunning, but stunning is not killing. Stunning is sometimes necessary on the road to victory. If you if you if you suffer a little bit of a concussion, then you know it's a bit of a price to pay to get to freedom, to get everybody to freedom. Let's turn it off. And there it is. All 60 lemmings in the outdoor tribe saved. Give me that award. Let's see it. Let's see it linked together. We're going to see. We're, gonna, we're going around the wheel of lemmings once more. There's the outdoor tribe. Nice little uh, flannel, flannel shirt they got on there. Oh, it connects so beautifully. There's scan lines up there for some reason. Something got wee wonky. But that's okay. That that must be the that must be the ghost of the medallion celebrating us on another on a job well done. So there we go. Fade out and there we go. The outdoor piece should move toward the arc now. Perfect. There it is. So next time we will move clockwise to the beach. Let me take you to the beach. Not today though. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I promise tomorrow. <laughs>